Arvind Limited formerly Arvind Mills, is a textile manufacturer and the flagship company of the Lalbai Group. Its headquarters is in Naroda, Ahmedabad, Gujarat, India. It has units at Santaj near Kalal. It manufactures cotton shirting, denim, knits and bottom weight, khaki fabrics. It has also recently ventured into technical textiles when it started Advanced Materials Division in 2011. It is India's largest denim manufacturer apart from being the world's fourth largest producer and exporter of denim. Sanjay Bhai Lalbai is the chairman and managing director of Arvind and Lalbai Group. In the early 1980s, he led the Reno Vision whereby the company brought denim into the domestic market, thus starting the jeans revolution in India. Today it retails its own brands like Flying Machine, Newport and Excalibur and licensed international brands like Arrow, Tommy Hilfiger, through its nationwide retail network. Arvind also runs three clothing and accessories retail chains, the Arvind Store, Unlimited and Megamart, which stocks company brands. Topic history and operations 1897 Arvind Mills starts business for Saris 1931 Arvind Mills Limited was incorporated with share capital 165,000 rupees $2,500 in Ahmedabad. The products manufactured were dhotis, saris, mulls, dorias, crepes, shirtings, lingerie, coatings, printed lawns and voiles cambrics, twills and gabardine. 1987 The company took up a modernization program to triple the production of denim cloth and to produce double yarn fabrics for exports. The new product groups identified were the indigo dyed blue denim, high quality two ply fabrics for exports, and products such as butter saris, full voils, and dhotis. 1991 Arvind reached 100 million meters of denim per year, becoming the fourth largest producer of denim in the world. 1992 – The company increased its production of denim cloth by 23,000 tons per day by modernizing the plant at Katraj of Incur Textiles. 1994 – The company's operations were divided into textile, telecom and garments divisions. 1995 – The garment division launched ready-to-stitch jeans pack under the brand Rough and Tough. 1997 – The marketing and distribution network of the Newport brand was strengthened and the relaunched Flying Machine and Ruggers brand were strengthened. Arvind Mills set up an anti-piracy cell for the first time in India to curb large-scale counterfeiting of their brands Rough and Tough and Newport jeans. Arvind Mills adopted the franchisee system for the manufacture and distribution of Rough and Tough jeans. Arvind Fashions doubled its capacity in the manufacturing facility in Bangalore to produce Lee jeans. 1998 Arvind Mills emerged as the world's third largest manufacturer of denim. Arvind Mills went live with Sapar, 3 ERP package in April 1997 in their new manufacturing units. 2003 For the fourth quarter, Arvind Mills saw a 280% growth in net profit. Arvind Mills Limited was assigned a P1 Plus rating by CRISIL, which indicated a very strong rating for their commercial paper. 2005 For the fourth quarter in a row, Arvind Mills posted a profit growth in excess of 80%. Arvind Mills bought entire stake in Arvind Brands from ICICI Ventures. 2007 Arvind expanded its presence in the brands and retail segment by establishing Megamart, one of India's largest value retail chains. 2010 Arvind launched the Arvind Store, a concept putting the company's best fabrics, brands and bespoke styling and tailoring solutions under one roof. Arvind launched its first major real estate projects. Arvind became one of India's largest producers of fire protection fabrics. 2012 joint venture with PD Group, Germany, for manufacture of glass fabrics 2014 joint venture with PVH Corp for Calvin Klein businesses in India launched formal suits with Goodhill Corporation Limited of Japan 2014 joint venture with Og Corp, Japan, for manufacture and sale of non-woven fabrics, the project being spearheaded by Dr. Kunal Shah 2014 forayed into the e-commerce segment with custom clothing brand Create 2015 the company 
company published its Maiden Sustainability Report 1, 2016 The company completely entered online retailing with NNNOW.com 2016 Gap joins hands with Arvind to sell apparels through NNNOW.com Topic businesses Fabric Denim Shirtings Khakis Knitwear Voile Garment Exports Shirts Jeans Arvind Brands Owned Flying Machine Newport Quads Rough and Tough Excalibur LS Arvind RTW Exclusively available at the Arvind Stores Arvind Brands Licensed Arrow Gap Inc. Gantt USA Tommy Hilfiger Ed Hardy Izod Cherokee Mossimo US Polo Association Nautica Aeropostale Advanced Materials Division Ebo Exclusive Brand Outlet, The Arvind Store Agri Telecommunications Service Provider Engineering Internet Real Estate Mega Mart Retail Environmental Solutions Topic. Financial restructuring In the mid-1990s, the company undertook a massive expansion of its denim capacity even though other cotton fabrics were slowly replacing the demand for denim. The expansion plan was funded by loans from both Indian and overseas financial institutions. With the demand for denim slowing, the company found it difficult to repay the loans, resulting in an increased interest burden on the loans. In the late 1990s, the company encountered financial problems due of its debt burden, resulting in incurring significant losses. The company came up with a debt restructuring plan for the long-term debts being taken up in February 2001. This complex financial restructuring exercise, which involved several domestic and international lenders, is considered to be the benchmark and a case study in India. The restructuring was overseen by Jayesh Shah, CFO, and advised on by a JP Morgan Hong Kong team, led by Ahmed Iyaz. In 2018, Arvind Limited demerged its branded apparel and engineering business into separate entities for enhanced focus and value addition for the shareholders of the company. It got the nod from NCLT Ahmedabad Bench for demerger in October 2018. Arvind gets NCLT's approval for demerger of branded apparel, engineering biz. Arvind Fashions, the branded apparel entity, will be scaling up existing brand portfolio and improve profitability across brands. Arvind Fashions aims to double revenues to 10,000 crore by 2025. Anvishan Heavy Engineering, earlier known as Anup Engineering. It has laid down capex plans of 80 crore rupees to double existing fabrication capacity of 15,000 tons per annum by implementing product mix. Out of the planned investment, 40 crore rupees has already been invested. Arvind's engineering arm aims to be a full solutions provider for oil sector. Topic: See also Castabai Lalbai <laughs>